Hey guys, it was requested that I do the wear and tear videos on the other brands of my collection besides Louis Vuitton. So today I wanted to show you the Marc Jacobs black multi pocket in the large size and I love this bag. I think that this is a super classic bag and it's actually the bag that I have loaded up right now and I'm using. And the Marc Jacobs bags from these years, the years that they used the nickel hardware, it was around 2005-2006 um, that these bags came out. And I feel like they are some of the most substantial bags from any brand that you could buy. Um, they really put a lot of detail and thought into making these bags. And I have owned a number of these bags, the large multi-pocket, the small multi-pocket, the Sophia, the Stella, um, some bag that was kind of like a satchel that had the multi-pockets down at the end. I've owned a number of these bags and the leather is super thick, super durable, and I would not hesitate to say it's just a great all season type of leather. Um, for this particular bag, for being like a six plus year old bag, I mean the leather on it is really in quite decent shape. You can see it has the feet on the bottom to protect the leather on the bottom. And the back just has the basic black leather all around. Um, and the front has the pockets and that sort of thing. But all the stitching is in intact and there's really nothing to note on the leather. For as much as this bag has been used, I mean, I don't see any obvious scuffs, no dings, no scratches, and this bag has been used. I mean, for um, certain occasions, it's been an everyday bag. I mean, it hasn't been used off and on every day for six years, but at certain time periods during that time, it has been used as an everyday bag. Um, the one thing about the Marc Jacob bags from this time era, you can see that there's kind of some... You know, the entire and the interior is pretty dirty. That's one thing I will say. And that's what I just started to talk about was the interior of these bags. The thing about this time area from Marc Jacobs is they use suede for the interior, which is very luxurious feeling. And especially like to open up your bag and see suede is very nice. But the thing about that is it gets very dirty and it also makes the bag a lot heavier. So these bags are very substantial, but they also do have quite a bit of weight behind them besides whatever I've loaded it up with. So let me try to grab some of my stuff out of here because I literally still have it loaded up from using it and I have about 10,000 receipts down in the bottom of this. So this is probably gonna have to get edited out. We will see. <laughs> Oh wow, there's my keys. I probably would have been looking for those later today. And the random life of being a mom. Here's a bib down in the bottom of my bag, unused of course. It's like an emergency bib when I'm out. But you can really kind of see after I get all of this stuff. And when I see stuff, there was a lot of stuff down at the bottom that the interior has kind of led a hard life. For how much the exterior looks like it hasn't been used and shows very little wear, the interior, um, you know, has gotten quite grubby. It's got that suede leather and um, it shows a lot of wear down the bottom and the sides. Just even general things like keys and, and makeup containers and all that kind of stuff rubbing up against it um, really kind of wears on that suede. But overall, I would say that these bags from this era were some of the best paint, best made handbags I've ever owned. I've owned a lot of different brands, um, Louis Vuitton, Marc Jacobs, um, Balenciaga, and out of all those bags, I probably have had the least trouble with my Marc Jacobs bags, any of the ones that I've owned. So I think all in all, these have held up really, really well. Um, and no issues to report. I mean, the zipper is still super functioning. It feels like a very substantial, luxurious zipper still. Um, they, you know, they, they put a lot of detail into these, like using specific zippers. I found that these Riri zippers are super nice. And um, it's just overall a really, really nice handbag. You can see that these pockets on the outside are actually functional and they all, you know, still work, no problem. And these, the hardware on these is quite heavy. I mean, it's, it's pretty substantial. So it really feels like, I don't know, just a super luxurious handbag. And if you guys watched Gilmore Girls at all, what drew me to this handbag to start out was um, Lorelai Gilmore. She carried a small multi-pocket in Gilmore Girls. And 
I watched an episode where she just effortlessly flipped this up and tossed her keys down inside and, and closed it back up and was on her way. And that's really what cinched it with this bag for me. So, um, yeah, I think that this is a classic that will always be in my collection. They have an updated version now that's called the Lisa, which has the multi-pockets on the outside, a handle on the top, and it has gold hardware, I still believe, for the past, I believe, three or four years, they've gone to, like, a gold tone hardware. Um, the handle looks a little different, and the outside pockets are a little bit different on it. So those are like over $1,000, I'm sure, now. But the nice thing about these Marc Jacob bags, if you're looking for one on resale, is um, you can find one for a few hundred dollars now, which is honestly an awesome price for this bag. So I would say if you are looking for one of these older style bags, I would definitely go for it. I think that they are a great classic bag that you can't go wrong with. So let me know if you guys have any questions or comments down below. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.